me pair you from powerlifting that website your go-to resource for all beginning powerlifting information and today i am going to do uh four questions on the bench press the bench press faq but before we get there, don't forget to check out the black check out the store on the site and follow the business and myself on social media had to get that out there because i forget sometimes and now i think i have it down to a science because it's kind of like memory it's in my memory but um now on to the questions. First question is, what is the most weight you've been able to build on your bench press in a single year? And would you share some tips on how you accomplish that? I'm not going to lie. I'm not the best bencher. Well, not the, be not, not the best bencher. Relatively speaking, I don't... I bench... My highest bench... I've been... I don't... I've never maxed out on my bench. I haven't maxed on my bench in a while. But I've... um. Like I said, I never maxed out. My, I haven't maxed out in a while, so the most I've ever been been able to bench was, was like 215 for reps. I don't remember how many, but it was a few reps. So, um, and then for incline, same way. And that my bench just shot up out of nowhere. Like, it shot up from like 160 max to that 215. Like, I don't know what happened. I didn't gain, I mean, I gained some weight. I started eating and like training. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but same thing for my incline. My incline went from like being, uh, Struggling with 135 to benching 205 plus for, you know, reps, so, yeah, at a 170, 160 body weight, so, um, all I really changed was eating, I guess, and adding more benching volume and giving my body a rest, because I wasn't doing that either, like, I was just going to the gym every day, and that wasn't working. Uh, next question is why is the bench press so hard? My only under my understanding of this is that the bench press is so hard because it's so like the muscle groups compared to the squat and the deadlift are smaller. Of course, there may be a more scientific reason, but I'm not a scientist nor am I a physician, so that's all I have for you so far. Next question is should you be able to lift the same amount of weight doing a seated chest press as you do it would with a bench press? Uh. I don't do the seated chest press. <laughs> I would think so, but not really. No, I don't know. But I included an article that talks about that. I'm not going to lie to you guys and say I do that. I don't. Fuck is this? Why would I do the seated? I don't do the seated chest press. But I did answer that question. Uh, next question is, is it important to train your back to bench heavier weights? Yes, it is. The upper back. And this is also something that's holding me back in my bench. But the upper back is very important in keeping you stable and giving you something to press off of. So, if you train that, you have more stable. You more you more stable. And you likely have a stronger bench. Um. Next question is: four fifty pound bench press attainable for a natural lifter? Well, yeah, but it depends on what you like, what body weight you're saying. So, if, I don't I don't think it's possible for a natural lifter, a one hundred and fifty pound natural lifter. A 250-pound nitro lifter, possibly. But a 150 or 130, like, is no. I don't think so. No. <laughs> if you like the video, don't forget to like the, like the video. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And you'll see me next time. Peace.